Hi everyone, welcome to a new video explaining the features of dual track Pyronix uh, PAR. Um, I have Brand with me, one of our course advisor, and um, he's going to explain uh, us about the features of a Pyronix dual track PAR. Hi Brand, good morning to you. Hi mate, you alright? Uh, yeah, I'm good. doing really good, thank you. Lovely, uh, lovely. Today we have a, a Pyronix Break 3 PIR, uh, which has some great features uh, within an intruder system. Great. And it's a great 3 PAR, isn't it? Yes, correct. That's wonderful, Brian. I'm sure this video is going to be very informative for our learners to learn more about the Pyronix um, dual tech PAR. And, and I can't wait to see the rest of the video. Thank you. Love it. This is a Pyronix dual tech detector which uses both infrared and microwave technologies. It is a grey free device which is perfect for internal and external use. Starting from the front we have our cover which holds the lens for the infrared and the LED which illuminates when the detector has been triggered. Taking a look inside straight away you will see the PCB and all the components that assist the function of the PIR. At the top of the circuit board we have our terminals in which our cables are terminated into. Just below we have our rear tamper jumper. Centre of the PCB we have six dip switches. The first dip switch enables and disables the front LED. The second dip switch switches the device from either DualTech or PIR. The third dip switch is a mask relay action, switching on opens a mask relay and turning off opens both the mask and the alarm relay, therefore looking for two separate resistance values instead of just the one. Dip switch 4 is for the PIR sensitivity. The fifth dip switch function is the AND OR mode, where keeping the switch on tells the device to only alarm when both the PIR and microwave must trigger for an activation to occur. Switching it off, either the microwave or the PIR allows for the activation to happen. The fifth dip switch function is the AND OR mode, where keeping this, this switched on tells the device to only alarm when both the PIR and the microwave must trigger for an activation to occur. Switching it off, either the microwave or the PIR allows for the activation to happen. The final dip switch is for the mask blocking function. A line in the bottom are the resistors headers for the tamper and alarm terminals. Depending on what panel is present will determine the amount of resistance set on the device. The centre of the PCB is the pyroelectric sensor to receive the electromagnetic radiation which will then will trigger the device. Finally the dial located on the right hand side is to adjust the microwave and mask detection range either reducing or maximizing the functions ranges. 